Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here to recap the series against the Kansas City Royals that the White Sox just got done with. <laughs> And no, I don't have my fancy little charts with game one, game two, game three. No, not this, not for this video. So um, let's get into it. Now, before I recap all the games and things that have happened in the series, I want to remind everybody, leave a comment below at the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Got a lot of good content, and it's all free. It doesn't cost you anything. You can subscribe to as many people as you want, so I could be one of them. So let's get on with it. Uh, game one, the White Sox end up winning game one 11-6. That was Cease versus Duffy. Cease went five innings. He allowed four hits and three earned runs. Anderson in the game, Timmy Anderson, was 3-for-4 with two RBIs and a home run. Abreu was 3-for-5 with three RBIs. Encarnacion was 1-for-4 with a homer and one RBI. Lewis Robert was 1-for-4 with a homer and three RBIs. The bullpen was again leaned on heavily, and of course that is a common theme with the White Sox, especially lately, but really mostly all year long. Uh, but they, yes, they pitched four innings in that, um, in that particular game. But with the win, the White Sox uh, went to 23-15 and 15 and were only a half game behind Cleveland at the conclusion of the game. Game two was a Dunning versus Brady Singer. Now, uh, the, this game was pretty, uh, it was nerve-wracking is what I'm going to say about it. Uh, the Sox scored one run in the top of the first, but it was very disappointing because they had runners at second and third with no one out at one point in that inning, and again came away with one. Then in the top of the second, the White Sox again had multiple base runners and, on the bases and came away with just a single run. And then Kansas City scored a run in the bottom of the second. So it was 2-1 to one Sox. At this point, it's 2-1. to one. It could be like 4-1 to one or 5-1, to one, but it's 2-1. to one. In the top of the fourth, the White Sox again had multiple runners on base and again scored a single run. And Kansas City scored twice in the bottom of the fourth, and that made it a 3-3 tie after four innings. Then and again, in the top of the fifth, yes, you know where I'm going with, with this. The White Sox again scored one run. And uh, at this point, it was 4-3 Sox going into the bottom of the fifth. Now, finally, finally, we score more than one run in the sixth. We scored two. Uh, and we added one in the seventh to eventually win 7-4. But, I mean, that game really had me sitting on my knuckles the whole time. It's really kind of disappointing to see an offense like the White Sox stranding as many runners. I mean, they stranded a small village on the base pads over the first five or six innings. Dunning went four and two-thirds innings in the game. Uh, he allowed five hits, three earned runs, and he walked four. Had a little problem with his control in that game. The win went to Hewer. Hauer, Hewer, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. And Colome got his eighth save. Anderson was two for four with an RBI, and Abreu was two for five with two RBIs. And this propelled the Sox to 24 and 15, and they were alone in first place in the AL Central by a half game over Cleveland. Game three was Giolito versus Bubich. 
Anderson was two for three with an RBI and a walk. Grandall was two for four with two RBIs. And Abreu was one for four with a home run and two RBIs. Giolito went six innings, allowed five hits, and three earned runs, and he got the win. Bubich was saddled with the loss. And the Sox, with this win, go to 25 and 15 and are still alone in first by a half a game because Cleveland also won. Game four was on Sunday, the 6th of September. Keuchel versus Matt Harvey. For the um, Kansas City Royals, this was an opener game. I guess they use, it's pretty much they use uh, Harvey as an opener. He never really goes more than three innings. Keuchel came out in the sixth inning of this game with some with uh, with lower back stiffness, which hopefully is very minor and maybe he won't miss his next start. And that brought in Jimmy Cordero from the bullpen. It was pretty much, it was a boring game until Encarnacion hit a three-run homer in the seventh to give the Sox a 5 nothing lead. Up until then, it was 2 nothing. They'd gotten a run in like the first or second, and then another run a few innings later. It was kind of just trudging along. Um, but the Sox end up going on to win the game 8-2 to two and complete a four-game sweep of the Kansas City Royals. And that improves their record on the year to 26 and 15. We have a day off, and then we have two games against the Pirates on September 8th and 9th. Hopefully, we'll win both of those games. We really should. The Pirates are not a very good team. And the day off is going to be much needed because, as I said, the White Sox have a bad habit of leaning heavily on their bullpen and have been working the crap out of that bullpen. So um, they need a day off. Everybody should kind of be reset and ready to go once we hit the Pirates series of just two games. Um, but yeah, and hopefully Keuchel's lower back stiffness is not a big deal. Put some hot towels on it, some massages, and maybe he'll be fine and back to normal. But this is good. I mean, we, we, uh, this, I mean, like I said, in my previous video where I recapped our, um, our series against uh, the Twins, we were really working the crap out of that bullpen and it continued in this series. Um, and so I was like, you know, even though it was Kansas City, I would have been, I would almost have been thrilled, I would say, with a 2-2 with a two -two split. And they come away with a four game sweep, which is ecstatic. We really are going to need that, especially with the way people keep going down with injuries. Because in game four of this series, it's notable that Mon Moncada didn't play. Um, Yolmer, Yolmer played at third base for Moncada. Um, he's still kind of suffering the after effects of, you know, the, uh, of the virus coming back from the virus. You know, and then we've got the injuries to the pitching staff. We've got the people who decided not to play this year. Rodon has thrown on the side, but he is not really back yet, or at least not um, as far as we know. So um, it's going to be tough going forward, you know, to keep the ship afloat. So far it's happened, and it's happened mainly because we've been playing a lot of bad teams. I mean, we've, you know, play, we play the Pirates in, um, in two games coming up. We played the Pirates recently in two games in Chicago. We, um, we played the Royals in seven games very recently, four here and then three before um, the Twins series. So, um, yeah, we're playing a lot of games against bad teams, and that's helping us. And I'm not, I'm not you know trying to badmouth that. I mean, you know, the, the Kansas City Royals are in our division. We would play them any year, a lot of games. And the Pirates are in the Midwest, so we play the Midwestern teams. So, I mean, you know, those teams are on your schedule. You can't say, well, uh, yeah, you're beating up on Kansas City. Well, yeah, they're in our division. And what do you want me to say, right? You know, 
I mean, I'm a Bears fan, and back when the Packers were bad, you know, teams in the uh, fans of other teams in the uh, in that of that division would say, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're just beating up on the Lions and the Green Bay Packers." Well, they're in our division. They, I mean, they're going to be on the schedule. I don't know what you want me to do. So yeah, same deal here. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is good news at least for a little while because we've got a day off, then two games against the Pirates, then a day off, and then um, and then we have the, the next series after that. So we'll have to see how it goes. But even teams like Detroit, you know, Kansas City did not give up. They never give up. They keep playing. And even teams like Detroit, Detroit has played um, the Twins tough in, this, in the past series that they just got done with them. So it isn't going to be easy. It's not an easy trip. It was great that we swept, and I'll take it. But, you know, let's see what happens going forward. I like where we are. Obviously, we're a winning team. We're winning the division. You always got to be happy with that. It's just that the injuries and the leaning on the bullpen so heavily is a little concerning. We'll see how that works out for us. But what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, there's any warning signs like that on the road ahead? Um, do you think, um, is there anything the White Sox could do? I mean, I, I guess the trade deadline's over, so there's, we can't do anything else as far as obtaining somebody. Uh, hopefully we get some guys back off the injured list and, uh, and can get healthy quickly. Um, but... Yeah, I'd be interested to hear what everybody thinks out there. Like I said, I like where we are. And for right now, that's where I'm going to end the discussion. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.